Hey guys, so today I've got a new tutorial and it's going to be about a sort of simple base building and what I'm going to show is actually going through steps of actually collecting some items and then once you've collected the items you'll be able to go to a certain position and actually build up a base. Now this is only going to be really simple and I'll show you here that I've got a set of four cubes that I've made. Each, when I go down B1, B2, B3, B4, they get bigger. So it's like making up a base, whereas you could start with your foundations and then you could maybe add walls to a castle and then three, you could add a new gate, four, it could be anything and it could then sort of maybe increase the health of a certain place and then, you know, AI monsters could attack it and then it go down. But this is just a simple way of showing you how to take something from, say, very simple, so foundations, and build layer upon layer. So if you are adding things to it, um, I will be doing a more advanced one, which is going to have um, an actual GUI that will appear in the middle of the screen. Um, that will actually let you see how many resources you've got and actually tell you how many you need for the next one let you click buttons but for the sake of this one it's going to be a simple way where we collect it we'll go inside the collider and we'll press a button and it'll let us build the base so first of all I'll show you what I've got in my scene and in my scene I've got well nine sets of boxes so I've got three in each and they're supposed to represent a certain resource so black is supposed to represent wood white metal and red brick so we have different types of resources that we've got to collect. We start off with building one which actually has the mesh render enabled and it has nothing much to it. We have a collider that we need to go into which has just got a box collider and it's set to is trigger and then we've got building two, building three, building four exactly in the same place, place as building one but the mesh renderer is untagged so you can't see it until we do something to it. Um, all I've got is my directional light, my sh things in my scene and then my first person controller. So first of all we'll start off and we'll create a little GUI to hold showing you how many resources you've got. So we'll call this GUI build and we'll open up in Mono Develop. So in GUI build, we'll write three variables, one called current wood, and set that as an integer equal to zero. Then we'll have another variable called current metal, have that as integer equal to zero as well. Variable current brick as integer equal to zero. Then what we'll write, we'll write function on GUI. Then with the curly brackets, we'll say GUI.box open brackets rect, open the brackets say 5, comma 160, comma 40, comma 20, close that off, put a comma there, put in quotes, wood, and then we'll up, close the brackets and put a semicolon. Then what I'm going to do is actually paste this in three times, then change that 160 to 180, then change that 108, uh, 160 there to 200. And then what I'm going to do is change that second one to metal and the last one to brick. So this just displays a GUI box on a rectangle, 5 across, 160 down, 40 width, 20 height, and it'll display that actual um, text. So what we're going to actually do here is we're going to copy these these three, we're going to paste them in, but instead of putting 5, we'll, we'll put 45 leave everything the same apart from what we're going to do is delete each of the words inside it but we'll leave the quotes then we'll say after the quotes plus current wood and then here we'll say plus current metal and then here we'll say plus current brick so in actual fact all we've got is I'm going to go back into unity and I go into my first Chris controller, I'll add the GUI build and when I press play you'll notice that I've got wood, metal and brick there with, which is just a simple GUI to hold it so that we can show it. Well, 
what we're going to now want to do is be able to add to these values so when we collect the items in the scene we'll be able to add to the value so we'll say collect wood so I'm making three new scripts collect wood collect brick and collect um, metal then I'm going to open up each of these that's it so I'll start off with the metal and what I'll do is I'll delete them, those two out I'll say private variable material set that to type GUI build so we're just going to reference this other script that we've got we'll save that and we'll say function start add your two curly brackets below and say material equals game object dot find open up the brackets quotations first person controller close the quotations the bracket dot get component and then we'll say in the brackets GUI build and end up with a semicolon then what we'll say is function on trigger enter we'll say call colon collider and then there we'll add two curly brackets and say if call dot tag is equal to player then we'll close that and add the two curly brackets we'll say destroy lowercase game object with a semicolon then we'll say material dot current metal plus plus oops plus plus and that's okay for that so all we're going to do now is literally copy the entirety of that script paste it here change that to current brick for the collect brick script current brick we'll save that and then we'll paste that in and change that one to current wood and then we'll save that and what, we'll, what I'll then do is I will select all my wood objects and then I will add collect wood to them and then I'll just check that collect wood is on them all yep and then I will select all the metal and I'll put collect metal and then I'll select all the brick and add collect brick to it so let's see so if I'm here and I go up to these I collect them and it adds one to each just like that just like we've got so I find the um, script if you know you go inside those objects and it's tagged player you'll destroy the object and then just add one to whatever the current amount is so now we're going to get into the actual nitty gritty of the actual um, <coughs> script itself so I'm going to write another script and we're going to call this one building script and then we're going to open up the building script and want to develop and then what we're going to do is we are going to delete that and we're going to say private variable material as type GUI build like we did before in the other script then we're gonna have another private variable called can build and have that set to boolean equal to false then we're gonna have three variables one called building one as boolean equal to false and I'll explain this as I go then I'll paste these in two more times and have it building um, building two, building three. So what we're actually setting here is that we're going to actually make three stages of building. We start with foundations. We'll build another layer, a second layer, and a third layer. And this is so we can swap each layer when we need to. So now we're going to write function start, and then the two curly brackets. Then we're going to say material equals game object dot find open brackets first person controller or oh, close the speech marks close the brackets say get component GUI build and then we'll end that 
but we'll start off by saying building one is equal to true so we can build the first stage of the building then what I'm gonna do is make a on trigger enter so on trigger enter call colon collider close that up add the two curly brackets say if call dot tag is equal to open brackets I mean open speech marks right player then we'll close the brackets add two curly brackets below and we'll say can build is equal to true and I'll write a little debug dot log and then inside there I'll say we are in collider so that just shows that when we're in the collider we'll know we're inside it and I will actually just copy this paste it in and I'm going to make an on trigger exit and then when we're in the on trigger exit I will get rid of this line and set can build equal to false so what I'm saying here is that when we go into this collider which we can the only way we can actually build on is if we're inside this collider and only when we're in this collider does can build equal true so we have to be able to build before we can as I say build um, so this is going to be the large portion of the script now so we'll write the function update add the brackets add the curly brackets there add the function up in the function update we'll say if can build is set to true and building one is set to true then we'll say that if input dot get key down open brackets b close those two brackets then we'll also add another two curly brackets in there and say that if material dot current wood is greater than or equal equal to one and material dot current metal is greater than or equal to one and material dot current brick is greater than or equal to one close that then we'll add the two more curly brackets and I'll explain this as I go but what we're now saying is game object dot find and then we're finding the game objects that we're going to hide and um, enable so I'll put b1 because that was my building one that's the foundation and I'll say dot get component and then I'll say in brackets mesh renderer close the bracket and I'll say dot enabled equals false and what I'll do is I will copy this line paste it here and say that we're going to find the object which is the building 2 so the next segment above and say that mesh renderer equals true so we actually enable that mesh renderer then below here what we'll do we'll say I'll just write a little note and set materials to zero so I'll say material dot current wood is equal to zero or to be honest what I could what we could do is actually we could just say minus minus so what we really want to do is actually take materials away depending on how much it's going to cost to build the building so say you had you know it required two wood three metal and five bricks you would take that amount of wear um, when you do it but minus minus just means it'll take away one once it's done and then what we're going to set is building one is equal to false and building two is equal to true so I'll go through all of this so that when we enter the trigger we'll be able to um, set the can build to true and then in the update it'll be always checking that if can build is true so if we're in the collider and building one equals true we set that at the beginning so we will be able to build as long as we're in the collider then as long as we're in the collider if we press B only when we press B if we have the correct amount of wood metal and brick can we actually then build the next segment and then from um, the next segment we uh, disable and enable 
um, two different objects depending on which one you want to show and then the materials that you currently have in your GUI will set to um, minus a certain amount so I'll actually change this so that's to metal and that is to brick and then what we're doing here is building one equals false there which is here so we can build this same segment again and building two is now equal to um, true so now we can build the next segment so what I'm going to do is actually copy from here that section and then I will put a couple of line breaks and then paste that in and now we're just going to change a few bits so now if building one is equal to true then we'll say if we set B and we'll leave it as one now what we're going to do is actually set this to B2 and B3 so B, the second um, installment of building is going to be hidden and then the next section is going to be built and we'll set wood, uh, metal and brick we'll take away from them and then we'll say building 2 is um, not true and building 3 is so that's going to build our next section and what we'll, I'll do again is copy that again add two line breaks in and then what I'm going to say is I'm going to actually just shift that up there and shift that up there so it doesn't confuse me and say that if can build equals true and building three then equals true which it does at the bottom we'll be able to use one material of each as long as we've got it collected and we'll be able to say building three and b4 gets enabled and disabled and then we will take away from the current um, items we have and then what we'll do is we will set building 3 then to false so we can't do anything and then we can delete that line because that's the last step that we're going to be able to create and we'll save that script and then what I'll do is go on my building 1 collider add the building script to that and then I'll press play and when I walk over here you want to build your base so I'm going to go over here into the collider you'll notice at the bottom it says you're in a collider now when I press B nothing happens so I'll run over here and I will collect some wood some brick and then metal I will go over here and long I'm in, I'm, as long as I'm in my collider press B you'll see we created a layer now we've got no resources I'll go back over here and I've got res uh, resources again if I press B it doesn't do anything only when I'm actually in my collider can I then press B and build another segment to my building and then when I've collected my other set I'll go over here again and in my collider and there there's my <laughs> full building as much as it's only a, a scaling block but that's pretty much the, in, the entirety of making something build up section by section this could be anything it could have then add to turrets anything like that so it could almost make a tower defense type of game but in actual fact this is just a very simple way to build a base if that's what you're going to take it you can take my script and you can go as far as you want with it may not be the best way to do it but in the end I thought it was a pretty good way to build something simple so if you like the tutorial as ever don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers